Hello, folks. It is I, the Robinsoid. Finally, after a week's hiatus, back. I'll tell you why. Well, the hurricane brought my parents up here. The, everyone was forced to evacuate where they lived, so they had to come up here for a few days. And thank God it wasn't for 11 days like last year. Anyway, <laughs> hi, Mom and Dad. Anyway, um, that noise you're hearing in the background, or foreground, whatever, is an air purifier to help get my throat going, hopefully. And, yeah, I'm still battling it. Probably will for the rest of my life. But, I do have some interesting news here. It's basically uh, leaks about Star Wars Episode Nine: Rise of the Soywalker. I mean Skywalker. Um, <clears throat> if you don't want spoilers... You want to be totally surprised when you go into the theater in December? You might want to skip this video, but if you skip this video, hey, shame on you, pal. I'm just trying to save you 11 bucks. I'm doing you a favor. I'm doing my friends a favor by saving them the money of having to go see this horrendous film. And as I said in my last video, this don't look good at all. We've already established this teaser poster did not look good at all. Yeah. The action figure emperor there, and what I assume is supposed to be Raylo, or sorry, uh, Mayor Ray Sue, and also Krylo Ren there. Personally, I think this poster looks just about as silly. <clears throat> well, especially with the emperor in the background there. Or we could very likely wind up with this poster, which actually does look better except for, well, Krylo Ren. He looks a little too bug eyed there, to tell you the truth. But hey, it's nice to see R2. Okay, so here are the spoilers. The idea of Mare, of Mare Sue actually turning to the dark side, it's a vision she has. She doesn't really turn to the dark side. And why should she? After all, she's a woman. And as a woman, she's supposed to be the bestest character ever. And even Kathleen Kennedy isn't stupid enough to have the bestest character ever basically turn to the dark side. I'm telling you folks, this is merely a vision. It's not when she doesn't really turn to the dark side. There's your first spoiler. But apparently at least we can take some comfort and solace in knowing that instead of Porgs, we're going to get this even smaller droid here. Why? I guess because Beach Ball 8 just wasn't cute enough. So now we gotta have an even smaller, cuter droid. But hey, at least we don't get any more of Potato Sack Girl. Sorry, seriously. They decide to give Finn a new love interest, who I think is supposed to be Lando's daughter, I guess. I guess she's supposed to be Lando's daughter, and also the new love interest for Finn, which is kind of interesting, because I thought he was developing some sort of romantic interest with Potato Sack Girl. Oh well. I don't care how much they try to hide their racism. Clearly, it's got to be racism if, well, Finn is going to dump the Asian chick for someone of his own color. Wow. Nice virtue signaling there, Disney. Boy, did you screw that up. And while it might be nice to see Lando at all, I still am very concerned about what they might do to his character. I mean, given what Disney has been doing to the legacy characters lately. Oh yeah, the whole red-eyed 3PO thing that we mentioned last time around? No, 3PO does not get corrupted or turn evil. Apparently they need him to read some sort of Sith scripture. Hope I said that right. Sith scripture. <clears throat> and, well, the only way he can read it is by basically reprogramming his eyes to be able to read ancient Sith. Yeah, whatever. God. I hope all of these... I hope all of these plot leaks are actually false and we get something good. But given what we've been seeing from Disney lately, I kind of doubt it. And I'm also fairly certain that this film will not answer any questions about this Snoke guy. Not that we got to know him very much throughout episodes 7 and 8, but I don't think we're going to get to know anything about him now that he's dead. But then again, now that he's dead, why does it matter? So, yeah. I think there are going to be a lot of problems with this film. Now, there is the potential that it could actually be better. Well, I'm sure it would be a lot better than The Last Jedi. Hey, anything would be better than Last Jedi. Will this movie make a crap ton of money at the box office? Oh, sure, you bet it will, because it's a Star Wars movie. 
But, yeah, I wouldn't count on this thing being very good. By the way, the way 3PO is wielding that, that gun kind of looks more like he's playing bass. A boom, 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 boom. So basically, we get some sort of image, I guess, of Rey looking into the double sunset on Tatooine, uh, which sort of takes us back to where it all began with Tatooine and all that. But quite frankly, <clears throat> I don't quite get that at all. Whatever happened to let the past die, kill it if you have to. Uh, yeah, hypocritical much there, Disney? But then again, this is Disney we're talking about. The company that just goes on making the same mistake over and over again. So, as far as I can figure, those are supposed to be our leaks uh, for Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of, the Rise of Soywalker. I mean, Skywalker. <clears throat> then again, if you don't want to take my word for it, fine. If you actually want to see this movie, knock yourself out. But don't forget, I tried to warn you. I'm trying to do you a favor. I'm trying to make sure you hang on to that 11 bucks. You'll need it for more important things down the road. <clears throat> like gas money. Um, so, in closing, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice again, so let me just make this very brief. Get Disney. Get Raylo. Get Jar Jar Abrams. Get Ruin Johnson. And definitely get... These boring, unnecessary, no-name, new characters from Star Wars that nobody gives a damn about the hell out of my house. <clears throat> if my voice comes back in full, I will be working on Atari Guy Year 10. That's coming soon, so look for that. Bye now.